Alberto Centino like the stream. Who are you looking forward to playing? Are there any rivals out there that get you a little more amped up to play than other teams? Yeah, I don't feel like we really have any rivalry. I feel like every team like has a target on our back when we go play them. Like teams try to like dethrone us since we just won the 3v3 uh, championship and the tournament. So I feel like we just had a sense where Broadcasting live, 2K Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Boston Celtics. And it's the Celtics to start out. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. We've got Charles Oakley. Green is out there with Gervin. Then there's Macy, and it's Jordan in at the two. And he makes that one. Physical contact, no problem. Mikhail says bring it on. He'll just power through it. Ainge against Jordan. Pass to Macy. Lock at six. Inside. Oak Lakes to Gervin. Here's Jordan. Parrish grabs the board. And here's Boston. Johnson outside. The pass to McHale. Now, here is Ainge. Bird high post. He's against Green. Bird misses. Johnson against Mason. Back to Jordan. Jordan can't get that one to fall. This is a Dwayne. Johnson outside. The Celtics working the ball around now. To the middle. Here's McHale. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. McHale's got his second basket of the game. And the ultimate combo guard, Johnson can pass with the league's best playmakers. Pass to Macy. Back to Jordan. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Bulls shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Shooting for Chicago, Michael Jordan. The line for two. First free throw is good. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. And so Jordan nails both of them. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Bird looking it over. McHale against Green. McHale misses. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. 
Here's Jordan. And again, no good by Chicago. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Ain't good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Really good work from the mid-range there. When the defense gives Ainge this shot, he'll take it. Jordan up top. Ainge covering. Here's Gervin. Back to Jordan. Johnson against Mason. Kicks to Green. And taken away by Johnson. And here we go. Fast break. And Bird's got it. They get the rebound. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Parrish cleaning it up for his team, using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. Macy against Johnson. Macy with it, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Austin leading by six. Pass to McHale. Chicago foul. Kyle Macy. First personal foul. First team foul. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, back to Johnson, and Jordan sends it back. Boy, much respect for the defense of Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic at getting his hands up to block shots. Bulls trail by six. Gervin right side. The pass to Jordan. Takes the 13-footer and too long on the shot. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy. Making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this time out. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. On defense, Boston. Macy passes to Jordan. Outside, Gervin. Shot clock at six. Shot from 16. Here's Jordan. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Love how Jordan uses his jumping ability on the offensive boards. I mean, this guy just does not give up. Ainge kicks to Bird. Pass to Johnson. McHale looking for an opening. Back to Johnson. Shoots over Jordan. They get it again. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive. Beautiful tip in there. Bulls trail by eight. And here is Macy. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Driving the lane. Back to Gervin. Six on the shot clock. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan often gets his hoops off the dribble, but he also is capable as a catch-and-shoot guy. Bird outside. Johnson kicks to Bird. Now in. Back to Bird. Those three-pointers off the mark. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. No good from Jordan. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Six-point lead. They grab their own miss. McHale gets tipped. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by McHale. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. The Bulls making a switch here. Paxson's checked in. John Paxson. Bulls trail by six. Jordan. 
Orton looking around. Pass to Paxson. On the wing, Green. He's guarded by McHale. Gervin dishes to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. And Boston with the rebound. McHale's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Ainge into the lane. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. And the Celtics lead by eight. Johnson. Ainge beats you all around the floor. He's a three-level scorer for sure. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And continuing to press their advantage. They're not taking their foot off the gap. Ainge against Jordan. Gervin in the high post. And the rejection by Bird. Here's Johnson. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Bulls trail by eight. Here's Jordan. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got eight points. Boy, outstanding ball movement from Paxton. They're showing a willingness to involve his teammates. Pass to McHale. Now, here's Johnson. He's defended by Jordan. Johnson can't get it to go. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. It's Gervin on the wing. Outside, Jordan. Over McHale. And the rejection by Bird. And they're pushing it up. A shot by Ainge, no good. Bulls trail by six. Paxson outside. There's the pass to Oakley. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second person. And if there's one guy who's not afraid of contact, it's Oakley. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Boston. Two shots. And guys, they've done a great job feeding their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. No good on that one. The enforcer of this team without question. Charles Oakley intimidates the opposition. And that's a big deal for this squad. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Wedman comes in for McHale. Vincent's checked in for Ainge. And it's Easting in for Johnson. The Bulls also changing it up. Corzine comes in for Green. And Banks is subbed in for Gervin. That one misses. Celtics leading by six. Here's Bird. The putback. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Now, Banks with the ball. And it's Bird picking him up. Paxson outside. Back to Banks. Bulls moving the ball around. It's Jordan on the wing. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Good work there as it goes. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. For Boston Gold, Celtics. Higgins is checked in for Charles Oakley. All right, fans, let's give it up for Boston Gold, Celtics Entertainment. So it's Boston now. Four-point game. Passes it to Bird. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. And you know in the painted area, Bird has a variety of moves. Can take you either direction and finish with either hand. He's a nightmare to defend. And believe me, I woke up in sweats many a times dealing with that guy. Now, here's Jordan. Eight points for him. Six to shoot. Hexen. Seasting grabs the board. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Pass to Wedman. There's Walton. Pass to Seasting. Tries a three. That shot, no good. 
And the Bulls going the other way now. Jordan wide open. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I love the determination he showed there. Getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. And then the nifty touch to tip it in as well. Here's Wedman after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Vincent. A second chance effort, and Jordan sends it back. Here's Paxson. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Now just a two-point Celtic lead. Operating inside at close range, Paxson with a nice touch on that inside shot. And there's the pass to Vincent. Here's Wedman. Releases. Rebounded by Corzine. 103 left to play in the first quarter. To the paint. The shot's good from Banks. And it's a tie ball game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And the basket by Walton. You know, Seastein's job is to get the ball to open teammates. Great dime right there. And Chicago has possession following the bucket by the Celtics. Jordan's shot is off. Jordan's gone 3 of 10 shooting so far, only 30%. Unloads from 9, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Bird would not be denied there. Great intensity to play through the foul. It's his first trip to the line. Larry Bird at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. We throw good. Bird. You know, part of what makes Bird Shot exceptional is his all-around talent. I mean, he gets it done on both ends of the floor, and that's how you end up being an MVP in the league. Bird hits them both. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Paxson passes to Jordan. Now Corzine. Paxson kicks to Banks. Right side, Jordan. And that one is good. Jordan's got 10 points in the game. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Shout out Danny Chapman, thank you for following. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Celtics lead by two. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. quarter and when you consider how the Celtics are doing guys what do you think well in that first quarter they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low yeah and it's worked they've got a clear edge and points in the paint now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside here's Mason he's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet so on the floor for Chicago to start the second quarter They've got Macy. Corzine is out there with Green. Then there's Gerber. And it's Banks, and it's small forward. Johnson against Macy. Outside Banks. Five to shoot. Passes to Gerber. Over eight. Offensive rebound. Corzine the pass to Gerber. Here's Macy. Outside Gerber. To the wing on the left. Here's Banks. Kevin McHale pulls it in. McHale's got five rebounds tonight. Bird. 
Hurd inside. Banks is there. McHale trying to free himself. Hurd's shot is good. Hurd's got his second bucket of the night. Hurd is really good inside because he uses both hands and that 6'9 frame to get the shot to fall despite solid defensive pressure. Now here's Gervin. Rebound, Boston. McHale's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Bird. McHale trying to free himself. Chicago grabs the miss. Banks passes to Gervin. Macy up top. Gervin against Bird. Pass to Macy. He kicks it to Banks. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. And again, no good by Chicago. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Shock up two there. Bird's got his third basket of the night right there. You know what? Didn't find a very good shot on that possession, but still able to get two points. Johnson against Mason. Here's Corzine. Green breaking loose. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Corzine shows no fear in dealing with contact on the way up. In fact, he seems to welcome it. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Taking two shots. First one drops. And for a guy who looks like he, he'd be a bruiser inside, Corzine really does most of his damage on the perimeter. Good on both. Now, here is Aim. Johnson outside. Here's Parrish. Second chance shot. Here's McHale. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, you know, the way McHale is built, long arms, he's kind of got coat hanger shoulders, chest sticking out. I mean, it's very hard, difficult, almost impossible for any defender to bother his shot. Hopefully he's checked in for Corzine. And that one falls for McHale. You talk about footwork in the post, I think McHale is without peer. And it takes a lot of practice to refine the footwork that he has. That's dedication to your craft on full, fruitful display. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Flex off the backboard. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. It's Kervin on the wing. Pocket six. Macy against Johnson. Macy, no luck. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Another shot. Green breaking loose. No good that time. The Celtics go the other way with it. With the teardrop. Chicago grabs the miss. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. 
And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now, here is Ainge. Back to Johnson. Over Gervin. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Bulls trail by seven. Pass to Macy. Outside Banks. And the pass to Green. Over McHale. And another miss by Chicago. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baiting him into it. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. They get it back. Oakland. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Ainge with the ball. Kicks it to Johnson. Passes it to Ainge. Down low. The shot's good from Parrish. Parrish has got the lead up to 11 now for the Celtics. Good for about one per game. Ainge finds time his out. open man easily there. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Amen. Gervin on the wing. Ainge covering. Gervin passes to Macy. The feed to Green. And it's sent back by McHale. Gervin against Ainge. Dennis Johnson on the wing. Bird outside. Five on the clock. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. You know, Bird is a lot taller than people think. He's closer to 6'10 than 6'8. And that helps him inside defense trying to stop him, but got sloppy and fouled. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Bulls trail by 12. And here is Macy. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Gervin finds Green. Now Macy. Shot to stop the run. And the rebound goes to McHale. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, whether he's in the lineup or coming off the bench, Ainge provides a nice scoring punch to your squad. For Boston, they have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. Take a break. Take a break. Shout out, Matt. Thank you for following. The first one falls. 
Well, you got to love the raw tenacity Danny Ainge brings to this game. I mean, this guy works so hard to make an impact and just refuses to let other players push him around. He's a great competitor. So he hits one of two from the strike. Bulls trail by 13. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Banks passes to Oakley. Rebounded by the Celtics. Here's Ainge. He's got five. Dishes at the Parrish. It's good. Parrish has got four this quarter. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Macy against Johnson. Macy with it. No points in the game yet for him. Feeds to Gervin. And Macy kicks to Green. Good. Sydney. Yeah, every Green. coach that ever coached Kyle Assistant Macy Green. loves that he just plays the right way. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 15-4 run right now. Here's Johnson, and he converts the layup. And the Celtics lead by 15. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. And despite the double-digit lead, still in attack mode, getting their feet wet there in the paint. It's stolen by Green. Macy with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. I see him, I see him. And here is Macy. The dish to Oakley. Green breaking loose. Shots good by Oakley. Just wanting it more. Charles Oakley, he is all about effort. Johnson, the pass to Bird. Back to Johnson. McHale outside. On the wing, Ainge. McHale kicks to Johnson. Shot clock at six. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's McHale. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Bulls trail by 13. To the inside. Green. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. It goes on Kevin McHale. Second team. Bulls shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Sydney Green. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Some changes for Boston. Alton's checked in for McCain. And Wedman subbed in for Bird. The Bulls also changing it up. Higgins, he's checked in for Banks. Shorten comes in for Gervin. And it's Paxson in for Mason. And both free throws good for Green. Celtics leading by 11. Ames the pass to Wedman. And here is Johnson. Pass to Ames. From deep. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Johnson's got four assists now tonight. Talk about a nice looking stroke. Danny Ainge has one. He's a consistent, deadly shooter from beyond the arc. Now here's Jordan. Ten points for him. A 15-footer. And it's Green with the jam. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second-chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? Wasted no time on that one. Jordan's got 12 in the game. And when Jordan is in rhythm now, his pull-up game, deadly. Shoots it with such confidence. Here's Ainge, and Jordan sends it back. Back 
to Paxson. And Jordan has it in the corner. Oakley controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He is absolutely a wrecking ball on the offensive board. Charles Oakley crashing with a lot of force. Pass to Johnson. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. You know, Johnson is such a crafty and unpredictable player. Understands how to draw fouls. Celtics have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. Shout out to Mina and Lisa. Thank you for following. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Hey, you know, for a guy who sat on the bench his senior year of high school and was barely noticed by college recruiters, boy, DJ's proved a lot of people wrong. The Celtics making a switch here. Ceasing's checked in. And Chicago also making a switch. Corzine's checked in. And both free throws good for Johnson. And so Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. Down by 12. The pass to Paxson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Boy, Paxson absorbing the contact and still getting the shot off. That's just good, tough basketball there. The Bulls have scored six points from their eight attacks at the line so far. Something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and the Celtics making a change here. Vincent's checked in. Good on the second free throw. And he's the consummate professional. I mean, Paxson knows his role. Obviously, a knockdown shooter, but he gives great effort in everything he does on the floor. Here's Vincent. Walton inside. Defended by Oak. And it's Walton missing. Shout out Nathan B. And Lou. Thank you for Here's having. Jordan. Off the mark. Had a chance to trim it to single digits. Here's Vincent, guarded by Jordan. And it's blocked by Jordan. Now here's Paxson, guarded close. Passes it to Higgins. Pulls up on the wing. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Jordan. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Here's Wedman. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Vincent. Over Jordan. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Bulls trail by nine. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Paxson passes to Higgins. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. to Paxson. Jordan outside. Shoots. That one falls. Coming off of Paxson's feed. Jordan's got six points in the quarter. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points. Playing with a lot of determination and grit and insisting on being aggressive looking for a shot. And so it's Boston heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. Back right after this. Man, please give a big round of applause for your something.
you. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. At one point, they were ahead by eight points. And they had their fingerprints all over that second quarter, coming back from a deficit and building a seven-point lead. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. You get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. That's how they built this lead. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on the Bulls. A combination of poor shooting and poor shot selection. That's what I think. They need to be more patient. Run the offense all the way through and let everyone touch the ball. Otherwise, we're playing into the other team's game. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. You look at Michael Jordan in this game, he has been everywhere. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often, he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Bulls trail by seven. McHale is out there with Parrish. Then it's Bird. Then it's Johnson. And it's Ainge into the two spot. That's the Boston Five. What a great touch there on the fadeaway. Man, right in the face. Pass to Bird. Back to Ainge. Now the pass to Johnson. Bird with it. Guarded by Gervin. Johnson for three. It's hauled in by Oakley. Oakley's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. It's Gervin on the wing. Passes it to Macy. Gervin up top. Bird cover. Gervin passes to Macy. Here's Jordan. Boston grabs the miss. Parrish has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Down low, here's McHale. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got five assists tonight. As we like to say, a guy like McHale is a problem. He's such an excellent scorer in the low post. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. I'll tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Count that bucket. Parrish has got 14 points for the game. There's the peripheral vision we talk about. Bird finding a wide open teammate. Left side, Jordan. Shoots over Ainge. That doesn't go either for Jordan. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And it's good for two. And now an 11-point Celtic lead. Hey, a little contact never throws Bird off his stride. He shoots very well when contested. He can make tough shots. Johnson surveying the floor. Parrish against Oakley. Pass to Bird. Back to Ainge. Johnson dishes to Parrish. From downtown. Offensive rebound. And it's Kevin McHale with the finish. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 16 rebounds. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And, you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Chicago calls timeout. One guy who's been getting it done is Robert Parrish. 
And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Now, here's Green. Eight points for him. Jordan passes to Green, and it's Green, Green with Green. the jam. Certainly, Jordan could be a one-man offense, but he's always ready to get others involved. Bird outside. He feeds it to McHale. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Here's Mason. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. He dishes it to Green. Pass to Macy. From 17 feet out. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Bulls ball. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. That's exactly what a team needs when they're playing from behind. Energetic defense. Jordan outside. Pocket six. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Green the pass to Macy. Curvin for three. Parrish grabs the board. Here's Boston now. They're on a 10-2 run here. Here's Johnson. Good D by Jordan. Bulls trail by 13. Here's Curvin. And it's Bird with the rebound. Bird's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. On the wing, Johnson. Guarded by Jordan. Ames the pass to Parrish. And easy two points on the lane. Parrish has got 16 points. Boy, they're leaning on Parrish tonight. And with good reason. Why not? This guy's built to score. Bounce pass from Jordan. And the pass to Gervin. Over Bird. Gervin can't get that one to fall. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. An obsessive perfection as Bird's become one of the great passers this league has ever seen. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Jordan to Gervin. Back to Jordan. Shoots over Ainge. A nice shot by Jordan. Jordan. 18 points for him. And just beautiful form on MJ's jumper. A part of the game he polishes more and more every year. Passes to Bird. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Green. Second personal foul. First team foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. And I love the way they've been attacking the basket. I mean, they've looked to penetrate every opportunity they've had, and they've done a nice job doing that. First one falls for him. Chicago making some changes. Porzing comes in for Oakley, and Banks is subbed in for Michael Jordan. Bird hits them both. Bulls trail by 17. To the middle. Here's Green. And Green slams it in. The strong move to the 10. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up. Take the initiative and make something happen. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating story. David, thank you. Boy, Bird has really been in the zone throughout this game. And Macy against Johnson. Macy up top. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Good on the shot. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Celtics leading by 17. Now a timeout called by Boston. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Boston going with almost an entire new group. Redmond's checked in for Parrish. Redmond comes in for McHale. Vincent's checked in for Ainge. And it's Easting in for Johnson. Higgins, he's checked in for Chicago. Paxson comes in for Macy. Kept alive. And the shot goes down. Walton's got his second bucket of the game to go. That is one of the many things you get from Walton. He's a relentless rebounder. Paxson passes to Banks. Irvin right side. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Offensive rebound. And they convert at last on a tip number three. Irvin's got his first basket of the night. Pass to Wedman. Banks with a rebound. Bulls trail by 17. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So it's Chicago now. Higgins passes to Paxson. Right side Banks. Clock at four. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Pulls it from 20. Kervin can't get that one to fall. Austin leading by 17. And yes, it's good. Bird's got eight points here in this quarter. Bird able to power through that defense despite the contact. I thought his length helped him out there. Now here's Paxson. Tight defense on him. Here's Banks. Doesn't go for him. Now Boston takes it the other way. Now here's Bird. He's got 19. Pass to Vincent. Out to the wing. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Bulls trail by 19. Paxson kicks to Banks. The pass to Higgins. It's Kervin on the wing. Outside Banks. Pass to Corzine. Just five to shoot. Here's Paxson. And at 10, no good by Chicago. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. Here's Vincent. Pass to Walt. Over Kervin. And he recovers it. And Walton throws it down. You know, as soon as Walton has the ball around the rim, he's thinking about flushing it. Bulls trail by 21. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Back to Paxson. Up top, Banks. Bulls knocked loose. Two minutes remaining in the 
158 left in the third. Count the basket. Vincent's got his first best. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. Shout out, Dave and Linda. Thank you for following. Paxson outside. Pass to Gervin. Back to Paxson. Right side Banks. Six to shoot. Gervin passes to Paxson. Shout out, Adrian Colston, senior. Thank you. Here's Banks. The offensive rebound. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Seized in with the bucket. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Now, here's Paxson. Gervin right side over Vincent. And again, no good by Chicago. Third left side. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Larry Bird at the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. And he makes the first. McHale's checked in for Boston. He's perfect from the line this time. 46 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Now, here's Paxson. He's guarded closely. Shout out Benji Peralta. Thank you it's for Gervin on the wing. Back to Paxson. The pass to Higgins. Just five on the clock. It's Gervin on the wing. That one's off. Still out of sync. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Out to Bird. From outside the arc. That one's not going to go. And so it's Boston. Rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll return shortly. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Chicago to start the fourth. Corzine is up there with Washington. Then there's Paxson. Then it's Higgins. And it's Holton in at the point. Here is Seasting. Back to Walton. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. You know, he goes about seven feet tall. Bill Walton is a nightmare matchup. Not just because of his height, but because of his skill, too. Plus, he has a really high IQ. Line for two shots. Two shots. Last on the first. 
The first free throw is good. You know, one of the most complete bigs in the game. Walton can do everything for you at both ends of the floor. So Walton nails both of them. Here's Holton. Shout out to Javier Lopez. Thank you for lighting the stream. To the left side wing. Washington passes to Holton. Shot clock at six. Takes it inside. The 11 footer. And that one hits back iron. Here is Zesting. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Passes it to Kite. Here's Wedman, guarded by Paxson. The shot by Zesting, no good. And Chicago has possession. Pass to Higgins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First, you like Rod Higgins' versatility. I mean, he's a guy that can shoot the three, he can defend, and he can fill just about any gap you have on your roster. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. I mean, he just punishes the D from falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, a little disorganized that time. And the result, two points in the loudest way possible. Guys, there has to be better rim protection than that, though. Not very good. Here's Holton following the bucket by the Celtics. Six to shoot. Higgins passes to Paxson. Here's Holton. Offline with his three. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Wedman. A solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Wedman's got his first bucket of the night. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. Here's Holton. Pass to Higgins. Shout out to Kendrick Franklin. Thank you for liking the speed. Henderson pulls it in. Shout out to Kyle McGuffey and James Liberty. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Here's Holton. Here's Corzine. The pass to Higgins. They shoot again. Passes it to Holton. To the left wing. For three, Paxson. And the Bulls with another miss. And Boston has possession. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Here is Seasting. Seasting that time saw the defense closing in and was able to force the contact and draw the foul. Second team foul. At the line, Jerry Seasting. At the line for two shots.
two. And the first one drops. Seasting so heady as a point guard. Very comfortable facilitating this offense. And some changes here for the Celtics. Fields checked in, and Vincent subbed in for Wedman. Chicago also making some changes. Green is checked in for Corzine, and Griffin subbed in for John Paxson. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Now Griffin. Over to the left wing. Higgins passes to Griffin. Over Vincent. And the Bulls with another miss. Here's Boston now. Big stretch here going 10-2. He kicks to Henderson. Pass to Kite. Here is Seasting. Eleven feet away. Here's Kite. Banked in off the glass. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. And it's the Zonix ball. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. The feed to Fields. Pass to Vincent. Shot clock at five. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Mario Rapid is thanking for like the stream. Here's Vincent. A rebound by Washington. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Inside, here's Green. It's blocked, and he recovers it. And another shot, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Boy, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. For Chicago, Sydney Green, one shot. One shot. And Green, no good on that one. The shot, no good. So it's Boston now. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Here's Seasting. Bucket is good. The excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Higgins. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Assist from Higgins has got Griffin. four this quarter. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Vincent, defended by Griffin. And Griffin sends it back. And he gets it back. And Vincent's Vincent. shot is good. And so Griffin will bring it up for Chicago. And there's the pass to Higgins. Feeds it to Green. Passes to Higgins. Bulls moving the ball around. Just three to shoot. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Austin making a switch here. Collins is checked in. Collins. Here's Vincent. Pass to Kite. 
Collins in the post. Here is Seasting. Down to five on the shot clock. And the shot goes in. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the rim. Here's Higgins. Over Collins. Higgins passes to Griffin. With the shot. And he overshot that one, missing. Here is Seasting. Pass to Kite. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. To the paint. Here's Green. Shot's good. Sydney Griffin making the Green. play. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Vincent the pass to Collins. Here is Seasting. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Second, and not the most the common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue <laughs> that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Redmond's checked in for Boston. And the Bulls making a change also. Corzine, he's checked in for Green. Now here's Griffin. There's the pass to Higgins. Griffin can't get it to go in. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Here's Vincent. Back to Collins. They get it back. Kite, good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Uh, there he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. Now here's Griffin. Rob. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Here's Vincent. No good. Shot missing. Griffin with some nice D. Here's Higgins. And Boston with the rebound. Here's Vincent. Kicks it to Collins. Passes it to Fields. Pass to Kite. Boston needs to get off his shot. Lets it go from the wing. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Pass to Holton. Corzine with it. Makes it off the glass. So much strength from Corzine on that finish. Wow. So it's the Celtics now. Outside Collins. Here's Wedman. From the high post. Kicks it out to Collins. The pass to Wedman. Pass to Vincent. From deep. With the clock winding down. And he dunks it down. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound. And, and doesn't take any chances there with the put The G.A. strong work all around. And mm -hmm. the rebound and the stuff both. Wow. Yep, he stayed with it all the way and got his reward at the end. Chicago with the ball, following the bucket by the Celtics. Pass to Holton. 
And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Three-second violation. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Boston making a switch here. Walton's checked in. Here's Vincent, defended by Griffin. Kite passes to Collins. Here's Wedman. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Third person. Oh, the foul. officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. The first one falls. Thank you for and that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Bulls. Pass to Corzine. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated in stride. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now the pass to Collins. Here's Wedman. Nice ball movement by Boston. Lock at six. And the basket by Walton. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you next time. June Villa Rose is now following. Rodel Ruiz Tomal is now following. Zelex on Itney Rolf on the bus is now following. Bodex sleep like the stream. Days Elumba is now following. Adrian Colston Sr. is now following. Benji Peralta is now following. J. Javier Lopez like the street. <laughs>